Hey guys, welcome back to another video tutorial where we are still looking at the topic of pseudocode control structure and in our previous set of videos we identified the sequential control structure, the decision or selection control structure and thirdly we started looking at the loop control structure. One type of looping structure that we recently identified was the for loop and the for loop is a type of repetition of instruction whenever we know the amount of time that these instructions are expected to be performed. Our second type of control or looping structure that we're looking at is our while loop. The while loop is used when we are not certain of the amount of time that a certain set of instruction is expected to be repeated because we have not been given a definite number of times. So the while loop is used when we are not certain of the amount of times that a set of instruction is expected to be repeated. Let's go ahead and see the syntax or the outline of the while loop. So in this um, example, we have our terminal start where we start our program. Normally we would have this for other for the other control structure, but we utilize this just the same here. This is followed by our initialization where we have a default value being assigned to a variable location, followed by the keyword while, which indicates that we are now performing the while loop. So this indicates that while a condition is not true, then we would do a set of actions. And then once the actions have been performed, we would proceed to end our while loop. So let's go ahead and see this in action with a problem and solution. The first problem is to write a pseudocode algorithm to read a sequence of numbers terminated by zero and print their sum. So in this case, normally the problem would tell us how many numbers we are expected to receive from the user, but where the while loop is concerned for this problem specifically, we were not given the amount of numbers that we are supposed to um, collect from the user. So this means that we are not sure as to how many times the set of instructions will be repeated. But what we do know is that at any point the number zero is entered by a user, then the program would be terminated. So every number outside of zero um, is accepted by the program and it will keep on running until the number zero has been entered then that is the point where the program would stop running another thing that we know is that we're expected to print out on screen to show the user what the sum of all the numbers that were entered is let's go ahead and see the solution to our left we have our outline just the same and then our solution here on the right so again we're following with the start keyword followed by the initialization let's say we currently have for some normally we would have a default value of zero but for this example there is currently a default value that we received at some point um, amounting to 20 so some is currently at the value 20 all right, from here, we would proceed with our word while, while, and then this is then followed by our variable name as well as inclusive of the rest of that condition. So in this case, we were expected to collect some numbers from the user. So then this would be the variable that we are testing. So we're saying while the num or number collected from the user is not equal to, and we have our... Um, bracket symbols there to represent not equal to once while whatever number the user entered is not equal to the value zero that we know then we're gonna do a set of what is a set of action that we're gonna be doing first we're gonna be provided with a formula that we are expected to use to find the sum so the formula is sum equal sum plus num so whatever is stored in sum will be added to whatever number the user enters and this keeps changing the value for sum 
this is then followed by reading off the number that the user enters so we're saying we give you a formula that you're expected or the computer is expected to use to calculate to find your sum so now we would like you to enter a number and from here the computer reads that number after that we were not expected to do anything more because the only thing we we're supposed to read the number and then we end the while loop sorry i did say previously that we're not supposed to do anything but yes we were expected we were expected to print the sum of the numbers and then from there that would have wrapped up our first solution let's see our second problem so it states write a pseudocode algorithm to read a sequence of numbers terminated by 999 it should then print the sum on screen so so far we know that there is a value that once the user enter these values then the program will end we also know that at the end of it the sum will be printed on screen. What we don't know is how many numbers uh, will be accepted or will be allowed before the program terminates. So let's go ahead and see the solution. So it says, or previously in the syntax, we know that we had the keyword start and then followed by the initialization. So in this case, we're expected to find the sum and of course that would be the one that we're focusing on for the initialization. And the default value that we're using for sum in this instance is zero, followed by the while variable name inclusive of the condition so we're saying while whatever number the user is entering or has entered is not equal to the value 999 then our keyword do tells us the next steps to follow so the next steps to follow would be first maybe to find a formula for sum and also to read the number that the user will be entering so the formula for sum is sum plus num and then the user would enter a number once prompt to say enter number and the computer reads this number from this point we are safe to end the while loop because we are not expected to carry out any other type of calculation or accept anything else from the user so we end the while and then lastly the user would be expected to see the result of sum on screen so we would print the sum so let's go ahead and see a live um, example of this so start again followed by the initialization of sum which is currently zero so we're testing while whatever number the user come ahead and enter is not equal to the value 999 or keyword do tells us what is next so again formula we are seeing that so the sum would be sum plus num so next thing let's say the user gets a message to say enter your number here and then the user maybe enter the number 18. the computer reads this stores it in the location for the numbers and then afterwards it can test to do the calculation for some so current value for sum in the example here is zero and we know that also the first number entered is 18 so technically our new value for sum is 18. from this point on we have completed the first set of calculation needed so now the user can go ahead and see the message to say that the sum is 18. the process can continue because the value 999 was not entered so this is the process that keeps being repeated until a user comes and enter 999 then the program stops let's go ahead and see our final example it says to write a pseudocode algorithm to read person's age terminated by 50. if the age is less than 25 then they're going to display phase one otherwise display phase two so this is indicating at any point that a user enters the age 50 then the program will stop running if the user did not enter the um, number 50 then they would receive 
one of two messages if their age entered was less than the value 25 then they would see a message phase one however if the value was greater than this so we know that that it would be otherwise because if it is not less than the 25 then obviously it would be greater than so if it was greater than the 25 then a message displaying phase two would be seen the solution here again we begin with our keyword start um, we have then our initialization so this time we are testing for age to collect age from user the default value for age is currently zero from here we are testing to say while the age is not equal to the value that was given which is 50 our keyword do tells us the action that is next so from here we would read the age and computer read the age let's say the person enter the age the age is now stored into that location so we can proceed to the second part of test which message would be the, um, displayed so the if statement would be used within this while statement for our testing so it is saying if the age that the user entered is less than 25 then show them this message to say phase one from here we can go ahead and proceed however if it was not less than 25 then obviously the next message because it's testing two things here the next message that the user would be able to see is phase two again we can proceed to end first or if so it would be last in first out type of scenario so the if statement is what we end first followed by the end while and then were we expected to print anything else maybe we would want the user to see what age they entered so we could go ahead and print the age again our solution to the right using our um, real life type of format start age is currently zero and they're testing while the age is not equal to 50 then this is what we're gonna do so the user come ahead and they are expected to enter the age so they get a message enter your age so the user go ahead and enter the number 18 so 18 is now replacing the placeholder zero that was there and it is now storing 18 so now it can go ahead and test to see um, if the age was showing phase one or two so the fact that the age was less than 25 then we know that the message phase one would be that displayed on screen from here the end if and the while would end because we would not be printing any phase two because the age was not greater than 25 so now the user can see what number they entered on screen so the message says your age is 18 and that wraps up our while loop Thank you guys so very much for tuning in and we will see you around in the next set of video tutorials.